Good day, folks. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game Tailmore. This is a dungeon crawler game that uses your phone and the app that is installed with it. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be uh, going through these different stories. You have different characters you can choose, different items that you're going to be using. And you're going to be going through this story mode and adding things to this game as it goes along. So let's check it out. Okay, everybody. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and show you some of the components that come with the game. You've got a bunch of double-sided map tiles, 21 to be exact. You've got some door tiles and some passageway tiles. You've got 20 entity standees. You've got six class cards, and they are going to be Cleric. You've got the Rogue, the Elf, the Wizard, the Dwarf, and the Barbarian. And on the back of the cards, it's going to have some information here. Uh, tell you the health, the damage, it also has like the story and any kind of abilities that he has, and also his level ups. And throughout the game, as you're playing it, you're going to be able to level up to doing to different things here. And each character has these. Also, as you can see here, this is where you're going to be scanning the card. So anytime you want to use the Barbarian or want to enter him in, you'll be able to use a scan. Alternatively, you can just simply enter this uh, code in your keypad uh, to activate the Barbarian and the different things. Also what we have, we have uh, combat cards and each character is going to receive a number of these and they're going to be used in battle. You also have item tokens and there's 42 of them. Each character is going to be getting a number of these depending on the adventure and uh, he's going to have the opportunity to use them but one thing he's going to have to do is figure out when and how to use them. So I'm going to go ahead and use the app over here and I'm going to go ahead and click on the initiation test. And when you click on it, it's going to tell you a little bit about the game um, and tell you about the QR code. And then I'm going to hit close. And now it's going to ask me to scan a class. So for this game, I'm going to go ahead and uh, scan the cleric. And I'm also going to go ahead and add a character and scan the barbarian. So these will be my two characters. And then I'll click on begin game. So right now I'm reading the cleric's backstory over here. And you can read it. It says to pay special attention to the words in bold. And uh, as you scroll down, it says your handler for the job is a man named Alder Mink. And uh, as you scroll down even further, you're going to note that there are a couple of tools here. Uh, one is what is called the lock picks, and it has the code number on it, which is K6. So this is the lock pick piece that you'll be uh, using. So you'll put this in front of the cleric. And it also has what is called the divining key, which is this. So you'll go ahead and put this in front of the cleric as well. It continues on with the story a little bit, and I'll go ahead and close it. And now it goes to the barbarian's message. And uh, we'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit here. And uh, it talks about interacting. Now, this is a, one thing you'll be able to do throughout the game is interact. You'll be able to interact with characters. You'll be able to interact with different objects. And I'll show you how that works here in just a little bit. So now we're to starting the scenario. Now it says we've got the selected classes. And then it says for the initiation test, your first room is A5, and A5 is right over here. It also tells you to go ahead and inspect A5. So we'll go ahead and inspect A5. So right over here is your list of suggestions. There's inspect, which I'm going to hit. It says inspect what? I'll go ahead and scan this and hit confirm. All right, so it says cleric inspected the gloomy entrance. Um, it says you stand the entr entryway with Alder Mink, and it has his character EC, which is over here. And so it says that he's waiting in the room, so you're going to go ahead and place him in there like so. Um, it also says the room also contains a barrel, which is J8. This is the barrel. And it says to go ahead and put it in the southeast corner. So I'll go ahead and place it over here. And then it says that there is an old door D1. And here is the D1 door, so we're going to go ahead and attach it over here to uh, the north, as it states. We're also going to go ahead and use this token. Uh, this token basically just represents where my characters are, so we'll go ahead and place this in the room as well. So I'll go ahead and click Close, and then it says the trial begins. Um, gives a little bit of more information here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, since I've got a couple of objects, I'm going to go ahead and inspect the objects. What I'll do for the barrel, just to show you how it works, is I'll go ahead and put in the code, which is J8, on the phone like this, and it says confirm. And so right now it's telling me the barrel appears to be old, doesn't seem to be very important, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. So let's see what else we had. Well, we had the door, so I'll go ahead and inspect 
D1, which is the door. And it says the only door is a room is stout oaken with a prominent metal lock on it. It's locked. Okay, so now we know that the cleric has uh, a couple of keys that he can try to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say use item. K6 on the door, which is D1. Hit confirm. And it says with Aldermink watching, you wiggle your fingers and I've managed to pick the lock. So now it's going to go ahead and say it reveals another room, A6, to the north. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stick this tile over there like so. And that will be there. And then it says move EC to the next room, which I will go ahead and do. I will move them in there. And then it's because you've added a section room, you can move there whenever you would like by simply using the move to action. Okay, so I'm going to do that, but I'll just show you how you can interact. It says interact with what? I'll say EC, who is Alder Mink. Okay, it says, this is the first part of your trial. Feel free to ask me any questions about anything you see. So you have that option to talk to him if you would like to. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and move into the next room that we just opened, and that is A6. So A6, we go into the darkened parlor. Okay, now we go down a little. It says, you didn't think we'd avoid testing your combat ability, did you? So it looks like we're going to be doing a battle here. All right, so... Now, with the battling, you're going to be using these combat cards over here, and there's several different ones. Right now, I'm going to be using the basic abilities, and there's more advanced cards that you'll be earning throughout the game. Uh, but anyway, what you'll simply do is you'll just choose one of these cards. Here are the cleric's cards. For the cleric, I'm going to go ahead and choose... I'll go ahead and do the protection over here. Grant nine armor to your lowest health ally. So, what I'll do is I'll hit choose, and I'll go ahead and type FM. That's the protection. And I'll go ahead and choose the slash for the Barbarian, which is F4. All right, here comes the action, y'all. Okay, so that finishes the round. Uh, you can see uh, the upper left character is taking a hit here. So we'll go ahead and do one more round here. Yay, okay. I finished the combat. Okay, so it says the cleric has reached level two. I've gained an advanced combat card, which is great. Same thing here. The barbarians upgraded to a basic combat card. Okay, so now we go to the next part here. It says, well done. And, uh, and then it goes on to the next part of the story. He heads west through an open passage. So in this case, I would go ahead and add a passage, the new room, and then some more items. And then the game would just continue on like this. So anyway, this is just an example of how this game works. Uh, there are many, many different scenarios that you'll be able to choose from in this game. And you're going to be able to either scan or punch in things, use a lot of cards, have a lot of items. Uh, so anyway, guys, this is the Dungeon Crawler Tailmore. So my final thoughts on Tailmore. Uh, well, I don't know how many of you remember this, but way back in the early 80s, there was a game called Zork. And this was a computer game that just used all text, and you would be able to choose directions and be able to choose uh, different weapons and stuff like that. It's pretty similar to D&D. &D. Uh, well, this game, since it is a dungeon crawler, reminds me a lot of that. Uh, but it's got a lot of cool elements in it. Um, you know, the dungeon crawl aspect is definitely in there. The RPG is in there. Then you get to do the fight scenes. And uh, at further along I went into the game, there was also some puzzles that I had to solve. And this was just maybe in the first few rounds. Um, so, yeah, this is a very cool game. If you're into dungeon crawlers, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Now, my understanding is uh, the app is going to be upgraded by the time this gets released. And mine's kind of a prototype version. But, uh, yeah, very cool. I, and I like the way you can just kind of build things in front of you as uh, the game is playing. So, yeah, you got a lot of good stuff going on in here. Um, the tools, the different battle cards. you got a whole a lot of different characters and a lot of different weapons and a lot of different defensive things that you can do. So there's strategy in this game as well. Uh, so, yeah, I would recommend checking this out if you're a fan of dungeon crawlers. It definitely, to me, brings it up to a new level because it's got the scanning technology and using your phone to tell the story. Uh, so, yeah, very cool. All right, guys, that's my review of Tailmore. Take care. Keep on gaming.